Hey guys, Silent Cell here. Welcome back to another unboxing video of Digimon Card Games. So we are going a bit old school this time round in 2022. <laughs> yes, we are going to open up BT01, which is the very first booster pack of Digimon Card Game. Now, there's a reason why I wanted to open this up, mainly because there are some of the um, red cards here that are kind of hard to come by because a lot of the retail stores or rather the card shops um, available in Singapore uh, don't really have a lot of um, spares for single sales so and plus if I really wanted to dive into the Digimon card game as a serious competitive player I thought maybe you know it's best that I own at least a place of every single card within each expansion itself so why not let's start with BT01 let's go back to the basics of where the Digimon card game started off and of course build our way up with the most recent uh, booster pack which is BT09 although technically within the month itself uh, BT10 is coming out <laughs> so yes I will be opening up BT10 if that is what you're interested to see in the future of Digimon card game so no worries I will do BT10 in the future but for now let's start off with one single box of BT01 so let's open up this bad boy and let's take a look at what we might get from this wonderful box itself okay so inside the box itself um let's see how many packs are there so basically each box itself comes with 24 packs and each pack comes with six cards inside it so yeah i'm not too sure whether it's exactly the same as the english ones now of course there is this promotional pack um, whenever you buy a full box itself so there are five different cards and each one uh, only comes with a single card itself so we'll open this up the last so let's take a look at the cards on the right side first so i've pre-cut the packs just to pull the cards out easily so here we go we have the first one um so we have she salmon so this is a pretty good card for its first generation because it has the jamming effect uh basically when it uh, attacks the security card whatever security cards uh, appear basically he ignores them um and won't be killed by battles uh, basically if if opponent security checks a digimon um and it, it combats with that particular card from the security side uh he definitely will not lose but of course he is still vulnerable to all the option cards that do appear in the security itself so all right let's move on okay we have a uh, porin porin what porin storm yeah no body holy body storm boarding storm i think so <laughs> it is with the two dashes at the top so it should be a b body body storm boarding boarding storm i have no idea how to pronounce this but anyways moving on so we have a uh, gorimon dark tyranomon oh i've never seen this before uh raburamon and of course this is the rare so it's a uh, Keru Peron Peromon. So as you can tell, the rare from the older series only has its inner borders gold. Um, so it, and the numbering on the card is also um, kind of glittery. So it's a very very different change from the current modern rare, which is the exterior border having its uh, holo holographic. So yeah, of course we we'll move on. So next pack all right so is the horn buster so this is a pretty decent green uh, option card so not too bad uh okuamon okuamon so there's two o's so uh kokatorimon uh heaven's reaper i think that's why it says heaven's reaper yeah Piyomon. and we have another rare so this this is actually a pretty decent option card as well health rare so hellfire sorry hellfire so pretty cool pretty cool rare option card right there okay moving along we have another jammer digimon so we have yuki yuki darumon uh repamon Ooh. Great. 
ブレーブレーブトーネイロブレーブレーブトーネイロえそうハートでいいブレーブトーネイロや All right ゴブテゴブリモンあチリンチリンモン If I'm not wrong Oh and we have the rare TK So this is actually the good Takeru Um, so when it comes out into play, um, no, wait, this is during your own turn start phase. Uh, if your memory is two and below, you basically can shift it to three. Um, then, of course, um, yeah, so when it comes out into play, if your security, you can take a look at all the security cards that you have and then take one of them. Reveal it to your opponent and of course add it to your hand. After that, take one from the top of your card,、uh, take one card from the top of your deck and then shuffle、um, your security power and replace it back. So that's pretty cool. Oh, you can only take a yellow card. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. I think I translated that wrongly. <laughs> Let me do this properly. Okay, so basically, yeah, the first, the first effect is exactly as、uh, I stated、uh, at the start of your turn.、Um, if your memory is below two, you can shift it to three. Then, of course,、um, when this card is summoned out,、um, your own security card, take a look at them within that pile, take one, reveal it, and if you have. Yellow cards around,、um, you can do a recovery effect. Basically, take the top card of your deck and then shuffle into the security pile. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Alright, moving along. Uh, Dimension Caesars. Oh, this is a pretty cool、um, green option card as well. Basically, if, if you、um, use this, you can target one of your green Digimon,、um, and whenever it, it kills or deletes a Digimon by battle,、uh, you can re stand that Digimon again and you can re attack once more. So, this is a pretty, pretty awesome option card, even though it's just a common. So, pretty, pretty interesting. Digitamon, Kabuterimon. Uh, Brast Fire, once again. Tentomon. And, ooh, a rare option card. Giga Brasta. So I have no idea. Opponents, Digimon,、uh, one Digimon of opponents, DP 5000 and below.、Um, oh, tap two of them. Wow. So, yeah, if opponent has two Digimons of DP 5000 and below, you can rest them both. That's pretty cool. So, it's not too bad. Okay, next pack.、Uh, Alright, we have Frezamon. Frezamon, sorry. Frezamon. <laughs> Kokuamon. Nuclear laser. Nuclear laser, okay. That's pretty cool. So it actually allows you to draw. Wow. So draw two cards.、Uh, then one of your Digimon gains 2000 power. Oh, this is actually pretty good considering it's a common. Alright, Picoromon. What is this?、Uh, Break Doramon. <laughs> And, ooh. A Digitama. So, yeah, quite backing. So, we have Tanemon. Pretty cute. Who is this now? Metal Tiranomon. Is that Rosemon?、Uh, I have no idea how to read this. For, forbidden ten, Temptation? Forbidden Temptation? Did I get it right? <laughs> Ogamon.、Uh, Oblivion. What? Oblivion Bardo. 
I have no idea if that's right. But Oblivion Bar though. <laughs> uh, Sab Saberu Le Leomon. Saberu Leomon. Okay. Oh, Togemon. That's cute. It's a red though. So no voice just yet. I apologize if I'm butchering all the Japanese. It's been a while since I had to read Japanese cards out loud since my Pokemon days. Uh, Lukamon. Tsukaimon. Uh, Gravity Press. Okay, Gravity Pre uh, Press. Alright. Monodoramon. Uh, Baby Domon. So it's not a rare. Oh, we have a decent rare at least. So Tyrannomon. So Tyrannomon is like um, Yuki Daromon. It has the jamming ability. So yeah, if it attacks the security, it won't die from security battles. So that's pretty cool. Next pack. So no foils just yet. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So Kudamon. <laughs> Lovely attack. <laughs> uh, Rai Amon Smash Potato <laughs> That's a very cute name What is this now? It has no effects, it's just an artwork It's the final evolution I guess Taitamon Oh! This is our first SR So as you can tell This is actually the, the regular rarity foil in BT01, it's exactly the same as what the rare treatment is now in the latest Digimon pack. So that's kind of a bummer. So the Digimon itself is not holographic, it's just the exterior of the card. So Zudomon. So this is actually a pretty decent card, but it is pretty high cost. Um, its effect only comes in if you actually summon it out onto the field without Digivolution. So it's a 7 cost, that's pretty costly. But of course, you get to draw two cards if you do so. So yeah. So this is our first foil. So we're gonna sleeve up this card right here. Alright. Let's move along. Reorumon. Aruma. Uh, Aruma Jimon. Hori Espada. Hmm. Mushmon, uh, Groundoramon. Did I get it right? Groundoma, Groundoramon. Cupimon. That's pretty cute. So that's a rare Tamago. Or a baby Digimon, G Digitama. Kabuterimon. Heaven's uh, Reaper. Okumon. Metal Tiranomon. Furimon, another Digitama, and a rare option card, uh, Scrap Rescuro. I have no idea, did I get it right? <laughs> Scrap Rescuro. I have no idea what English word is that, but okay, moving along. Oh, Operation ha uh, Bado, so. Monodoramon, Kudamon, uh, Nerkurasha, oh, Wudomon. So this is actually a pretty decent green card as well. It's a blocker. So if you guys have played Dual Monsters, uh, Dual Masters before, you know you know what blockers are. So yeah, and of course we have a rare Ikakumon. So that's pretty decent as well. Okay, moving along, Digitamamon. Reorumon, Neo <laughs> Laser, Neo Laser. Okay, I really had to stop reading all this. Kokterimon, oh, this is new. Darukumon, and of course, we have Easy uh, Koshiro. So, yeah, this Koshiro is actually a pretty good one. So, we've actually seen this reprinted. If you guys have seen the uh, start deck review or other unboxing for Jessmon and uh, Ragnarok Mon, you have seen Easy as a parallel reprint. Um, although I think Easy was a black version, so this is actually the green version, which is also a very very powerful rare of Easy. 
So let's Whoa, okay. So we've only got one single foil from the right side. So I guess the rest of the foils are on this side. Huh. Okay. Dark Tirano. Gravity Press. Shisamon. Oh we've got two copies. That's pretty nice. Smash Potato. Oh, this is new. Uh Koemon. Oh, a new rare. So Porifony. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> Agumon Hakase. So Professor Agumon. This is pretty cute. So yeah, the Agumons in this expansion are really the main reason why I'm buying BT01 because the Agumons in this expansion are pretty decent as well. Irakimon. Alright, we have already mentioned this. Dimension Scissors. Uh, Yuki Darumon. Kuagamon. And our rare is um, Pyokomon. Next pack. Tsukaimon. So this is another pretty awesome common option card. Um, Kaishin no Hado. Kaishin no Hado. So yeah, basically um, it lets you recover one security. So that's pretty awesome. Gorimon. Lukamon. Oh, Pitamon. So this is new for me. So it's, I guess it's like Peter Pan. A new rare. Mistymon. Alright. Another new option card. Uh, B Bres. What? V. V. <laughs> Bresaro. I have no idea how you pronounce this. Bres Arrow. Bres Arrow? V. Bres Arrow? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Bepamon. Oh, Monzaemon. Finally, we got one. <laughs> and of course, we get his option card. So lovely attack. And of course, Roda Leomon. So this is new as well, I think. Oh, Upamon. So we've got another Digitama. Oh, Penguin. Muchomon. Rayamon. Uh, definitely another English word. <laughs> I will not read it. I will not attempt to read it. <laughs> it's too difficult to pronounce. In one go. Kokuamon. Uh, Waniamon. And there's something nice behind. Oh my goodness, what in the world? It's a CSR as well. Holy Angelmon. So that's pretty cool. So I did plan to build an angel deck because, of course, my first favorite Digi Destin from the first series is, of course, TK uh, Takeru uh, because Angelmon is just that cool. <laughs> I'm sure everyone loved Angelmon as well for the first time when he appeared. Then, of course, later we get Angel Woman, so everyone shifted to Angel Woman because she's a lot sexier. Anyways, <laughs> a Hornbuster, we have Gobrimon, we have Ogamon. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt to read this now because I'm just too tired to do so. A bird drum on and oh, this is new. Um, Gureshik Ross Frieza. What? Did I get that right? Gureshik Cross Frieza. Huh, okay. So, Metal Garurumon's option card. Piximon. Or is it Piccolomon? Piccolomon? Yeah. Gomamon. First time seeing Gomamon, I think. Uh, Podinstone. Uh, Furea Lizamon. Metal Greymon. And Lilimon. Oh, this is actually a pretty good card. So Lilimon has a very awesome Digivolution ability. So if the Digimon that's evolved over Lilimon attacks, uh, um, Broker. So. Basically, it, it gains... What? Oh, it rests one blocker Digimon. Oh, that's oh, very awesome. So, if let's say an opponent has a blocker Digimon on the field, you just make it rest and then you can just worry less about having something disrupt you while trying to do security checks. Alright, so Vegemon, this is new as well. Moving on, moving on. We've seen this before. 
And oh, Garudamon. So that's new. Oh, Garudamon. Cool. So this is the third foil. I have no idea how many foils there are in the, the first expansion itself within a box, but I hope that's not it. <laughs> There's only like four packs left, so here we go. Mashmon, the common pile is starting to pile up. Godimon, not gonna read this, just too tired. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, this is actually pretty decent. So it's a Slush Angelmon, so this, this card is actually pretty powerful for its era. And Patamon, cool. This is the first of it as well. Okay, Horn Buster. There's a lot of this. Metal Tirano. Oh, is this the first? Jagamon, so Potato Mon. <laughs> Gabumon! Oh, this is pretty awesome. So, this Gabumon rare, if you summon it up to the field without Digivolution, it basically allows you to draw one. So, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, last few packs. Hopefully, we get something else as well. Kudamon. Tsukaimon. No, I'm gonna read that. Lukamon. Kyaromon. And. Holy Angel! Wait! Wait, what? Wait! What? Wait, what? These are the same cards. Yeah, they are the same cards. So, is this an alternate art? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. So, I've got two Holy, holy Angel ones for deck building. That's pretty nice. Alright. Okay, so we've got four foils and this is the last pack. Um, so, Yuki Daruman. Not gonna read that. Elekimon. Dark Tirano. Uh, Atora Kabuterimon Alter and we have Yamato. So, yeah, apparently, so BT01, there's a lot of cards here. So, BT01 comes with only four holographics and one alternate art. So, basically, yeah, three regular foils and one alternate art. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I managed to get two of the angels, there's Angel Woman as well from BT01 which I really want to get as well. And of course there's War Greymon as well. So what do you guys think of BT01? Is it past its time for 2022? Are these cards still valuable, um, valid within this current meta itself? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this box pulling. Of course leave a like and of course subscribe for more Digimon card openings in the future. Until then guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video and adventure within the Digimon card universe. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!